Hello again, everybody. People tell me all the time, Jock, you have the greatest job in all the world. And you know what? I can't argue with them. I get to go to some pretty awesome places in the world of sports and meet some pretty amazing people along the way. And meeting Phil Sklar recently was one of those cool people in the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame Museum in Milwaukee is definitely one of those places. In your wildest dreams, did you ever think you'd be the co-founder of a bobblehead Hall of Fame museum? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So yeah, it's definitely something that, you know, it was a lot of fun, uh, but something that, you know, I didn't really, couldn't have ever really anticipated. It's, it's pretty cool though, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's definitely cool. It's fun, it's fun to see the people come and enjoy it, uh, people from all over the world. Well, the National Hall of Fame Bobblehead Museum located in Milwaukee is definitely cool to see. To hear how it came to be is pretty cool, too. I've always been a collector. My dad collected sports cards growing up, and he got me into collecting cards, you know, as a kid. So I've always sort of had that passion for collecting. I started collecting bobbleheads 2003, and that's, you know, sort of how things got started, just as a passion, a hobby, and hobby turned into sort of a passion, which turned into sort of an obsession. Uh, we had one bobblehead that turned into 10 and, uh, you know, 100 and 1,000. And before we knew it, we were running out of space for bobbleheads and uh, had a crazy idea to open a one-of-a-kind museum dedicated to bobbleheads. And there's a lot of sports. I mean, a lot of sports. From Packers to Brewers, Bucks, Mallards, Panthers, Platteville, and, of course, yeah, Bucky. Yeah, so he's obviously one of the most uh, unique, fun mascots in college sports, and he's been well represented in bobblehead form. Uh, there's several others across the museum, but Bucky doing his push-up, uh, the jump around, where he's bobbling in multiple ways there. But the museum has so many more heads that bobble. So a lot of the non-sports bobbleheads are here, so everything from movies, comics, TV, The Simpsons, Star Wars, uh, you know, Grateful Dead, serial characters. So people who don't necessarily you know, love sports will still find stuff they enjoy. Do you have something that you're like, wow, every time you look at it, you're like, I can't believe that's here? The Home Alone series, I'm a huge Home Alone not love watching it. The one of Marv was the most popular. Marv with the um, iron mark on his head and the bare feet with his crowbar, uh, I think is a pretty cool bobblehead. As Phil mentioned, the museum creates its own bobbleheads, and while they've been able to produce some pretty recognizable faces, who would they love to have bobble coming up? Yeah, there's plenty out there. We have a long growing list that every day, and we have a post of all here where people can put in which bobbleheads they want to see next, and yeah, we're continually growing that. There's you know, from Taylor Swift. And Caitlin Clark. And Caitlin Clark, yeah. Caitlin, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed, yeah. Well, it really is something you have to see to believe, just like a Jocko bobblehead that may wind up in the Hall of Fame someday. Many thanks to Phil Sklar for being so awesome and photojournalist Haley Collins for helping me tell this story. The National Hall of Fame Bobblehead Museum is located at 170 South 1st Street on the second floor in Milwaukee. And the price of admission is, get this, just $5. Well worth it, I might add.